dressage video we are going to talk a little bit about the scores you get in the dressage test and what they mean and we're going to look at one of my dressage tests that i did with dressage riders online read out the scores while i go through the test and uh, yeah give you guys a little bit of an impression of how it works basically so all dressage competitions uh, should be judged by a um, educated judge which means that they have gone through some sort type of course for that level of test they will be judging um i know there are people that have competitions that are not affiliated or are sort of like training competitions and they don't have like proper dress out shirt judge they might just be an, inst an instructor but like proper competitions have to be judged by a judge that has a sort of qualification to do that because they go through this course and everything and the fr um, before they can judge um you would think that all the comments and all the like scoring would be equal but it's not uh, judges are people too and they have a lot to do when they judge the test they look at uh, your writing and they have to give commentary to the people person that is transcribing for them and uh, look it down at the test maybe if they don't know it very well which I hope they do so they have a lot to think about they're also colored by their own experiences and yeah subjective things so uh, let's talk a little bit about the dressage scores. A dressage test is judged in scores from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, which means you haven't performed the movement that you were supposed to be doing at all, and 10 meaning excellent. Uh, 0 and 10 is not very common to get. Uh, the most common scores are between 4 and I would say 8 getting the scores are of course uh, marked in a scale and four being the highest of the insufficient scores which means you haven't performed the movement that this score has been given to to the quiet required level five and up are you have performed the movement to the required level which means you've basically done what you've been asked to do and then the higher score you get, the better you perform that movement. And it's all about accuracy and re riding well, basically. So um, I thought we'd now jump into the video of me riding a dressage riders online walk and trot test with Pickin, little Pickin, whose canter transitions aren't very good, so she can't do the canter tests yet. So this is Dressage Riders Online Level 1 Test B, a walk and trot test. First moment, it, momentum is in, but with at A, down the centre line, in working trot, without halting, at C, turn uh, right. And we got an 8 and the comment, good entry. The second part is MBFA working trot, so following the track and we got a seven pleasing steps then at a we're doing a circle right 20 meters in diameter and then a to k working trot and on this we got an eight and the comment good Then it's KXMC working trot and we got a seven and a half on this and it says active steps. Then at C we're doing another 20 meter circle um, and then it's C to H in working trot that is part of this uh, mark and we got an eight and it says good balance.
Next is between H and E, transition into medium walk, which we got an 8 on, no comment. And then at E to X, half circle left, 10 meter diameter. And then X to B, half circle right, 10 meter in diameter. And BF, medium walk. And this we got a 7 on and no comment. The next is the transition to trot between B and F. And uh, that we got a 7 on. And then A to K working trot. KXM changed the rain again. And this we also got a 7 on. No comments. Next is M to C working trot between C and H transition to medium walk. And this we also got a 7 on. Next is H to B change the rain free walk on a long rain. B to K change the rain free walk on a long rain. I wasn't really sure how to write this. Uh, it's a 2 times score so it, it score is multiplied by two we got a six and so we got a 12 overall and it says needs more consistent supple stretch and yes picking doesn't really stretch down and forwards next is between k and a transition into medium walk and we got a seven on this no comment Next is between A and F transition to working trot and F to X working trot. And we got a 7 on this and no comment. And then it's X to G working trot, G halt immobility and salute. And then we got 5.5 .5 and it says swung quarters pity. So you now heard all the scores that I got for the movements in the test, but there's also uh, some general scores that goes on specific things throughout the whole test. Um, and normally I think there's like four of these. Dressage riders online have five. Uh, so um, these are like the overall general scores. And the first three are for the horse and the second two are for the rider. So the first one is called paces, freedom and regularity. And it simply means the quality of the horse's paces, like how fluid they are, stuff like that, regularity, so that like the, um, it doesn't uh, have like a misbeat or something like that. And in this test, we got a 7. Now, all the uh, overall scores have a coefficient of 2, which means that they are um, double what you get. So you want to do these very well. Um, so give it, getting a 7 means we actually get a 14. And the next one is impulsion. Desire to move forward, elasticity of the steps and suppleness of the back. So, um, yeah, basically meaning that your horse is willing to move forwards um, from the hind legs, pushing from the hind legs into the front and um, being like free of movements, using its back properly, like carrying itself. And we got a six and a half, which means we got a 13. And the third uh, point is called submission, and it's called attention and confidence, harmony, lightness, ease of movements, acceptance of the bridle and lightness of the forehand. 
So this has to do with like the self carriage of the horse that is on the bit, that it's not uh, being leaning on the bit, it's not behind the vertical, it's not over the vertical, uh, stuff like that. Uh, it also means um, how well it takes the aids and how well it does the movements. And on this we got a 7, which means we got a 14, because it's a, close, a coefficient of 2. Uh, the fourth point is position of the rider, and here we got 7, uh, which means we got a 14. And it's basically your position, your seat, your how straight your back is, how like your legs are, your hands, everything like that, like how well you sit and how prettily you sit, I suppose. And then the last one here is effectiveness of the rider's aids. And we got a 7, which means we got a 14. And this has to do with, um, I suppose, like how well you give the aids so that like not, uh, for example, dragging your knee up to give the leg aid. Just a lot of people do that when they are like starting to ride. Um, turning your heels in stuff like that um like movements of the hands for doing bending stuff like that i would assume i'm not a dressage judge i'm just talking from experience and uh yeah the comment i got from the judge after the test was lovely balanced horse well presented well done so uh, that is all of the marks that you get for a dressage test of course these are the comments that i got um there are other comments you can get and uh there are like some judges write a lot of comments some write almost no comments uh i like getting comments but it's actually a fai rule that if you score above six they are not required to write a comment so they say that if you have like a blank sheet it's a very good thing but i mean i if i have score a six i want to know what i can do to score a seven or an eight so i prefer comments even if they sometimes aren't that good um but like some comments that you could get is for example and i'm looking at the fei website here um and it says for example needs more suppleness and this means that it could mean that the horse isn't supple enough in the movement that you are getting the com like comment on or it could mean that you generally need to improve the elasticity of the horse um another comment is above the bit uh, or hollowing and uh, also it could be against the hand these are all comments that has to do with the horse being on the bit, using uh, its back properly, having the correct um, head carriage. I'm going to put in a picture here. Uh, so it's not uh, above the bit, i.e. not accepting the bit. But again, you don't want it to be behind the vertical. So uh, that could be a comment about like not accepting the bit and not working properly. So in many dressage tests, you have to show some lengthening or paces, medium trot or extended trot, uh, same in canter. Um, and you can get and walk to a certain degree. There are extended walk. Um, and you can get the comment in when you try to lengthen or extend your horse's gait uh, that you can get a comment on lack of rhythm, loss of rhythm or rushing, uh, which basically means that uh, the beat of the gait and the rhythm of the gait is broken because you want, if you are extending the, the gait, you want rhythm to be the same you just want the horse to take longer steps not running faster 
if you know what I mean. Uh, so uh, that could be something you can hear a lot of. I used to get that a lot in trust with my dressage pony. And uh, another comment you can get is needs to be more active, which basically means that you need the horse to work more from behind. It needs to be more willing to move forwards. Um, I would say uh, there are some horses that just are lazy and or just know how to avoid doing what they are being asked. Uh, thinking of some riding school horses here that have like years of experience of avoiding the aids and working properly. Uh, but yeah, so it basically means it needs to push more forward from behind and be more willing to be active when it's asked to be active like that and not several meters <laughs> ahead. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, I hope you found it instructive and interesting and I hope it meant that you will now go out, try some dressage and uh, yeah, be more informed when you get your commentary sheet back. So uh, yeah, please leave any questions down below uh, or comments. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.